Yeah. Let's do Jocktober because we got uh, yeah. Bernard Hopkins coming in in about 20 minutes here. It's Jocktober. Yeah, this is awesome. A celebration of rap rap radio from around this great nation of ours. Great. This turd-tacular radio. Oh, my God, I can't believe it! Yes! October. And, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then all next week. So we got eight shows left to yeah. look at for Jocktober. That's it. It does That's go it. fast. This month is flying by. And uh, just when it's I thought we've fast. done every type of radio show out there, Sam has brought a, uh, a doozy Yes, when I heard the, the title today. of today's Jocktober show, I was beside myself. And I, I was even asked, hey... Uh, what do you want to do? This or this? I'm like, I don't care what we do as long as we get to Do- Jocktober today. Right. And we are. Thank God. I'm going to just play the sweeper, the first track. Okay. To bring it all together. Okay. Here's today's Jocktober. Janet and Lauren, just two moms in the morning. Boy, what a great show. On 98.9 Chick FM. There's a station out there called Chick FM. It's in South Kakalaki. WCNT. <laughs> South Kakalaki? Raise up. Wasn't yesterday's show from North Kakalaki? That's right. What are you doing? Wow. Man? You got to spread, you gotta spread <laughs> it around a little bit. <laughs> you sure are. Uh, South Carolina. Yeah. Right. Raise, raise up. up. Raise up. Mom's Stick in the morning. Shirt off. Spin around in there like a helicopter. On, uh, That's right. Petey Pablo. Yeah. Ninety-eight. Yeah, Point nine Chick FM, Mom's in the Morning. It's mm-hmm. This is this is the morning show on a station called Chick FM. Chick FM. And it is indeed Mom's in the Morning. Mom's in the Morning. This has got... Oh, great. Look, the, the fucking front of the website looks like a tampon box. <laughs> it's all pink. They had to go pink, huh? Chick FM. Now, Mom's in the Morning. This, to me, sounds like the kind of show I want to listen to. That's really? right. I'm surprised. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget about their uh, producer. Who's also in studio? Yes. He contributes. <laughs> Another bitch. I'm a chick. Is it all broads or is there a guy involved? No, the pool man stops by. Oh, wait a minute. That's like uh, <laughs> well, is the hey, pool man. You know, pool hey, man. The pool man. Is the pool man burying it deep or what? In them? Yeah. Not in the mobs. Come on, let's stay in good taste. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's move right into this. All right, the moms talks about the president doing Mythbusters. See, uh, this is what we tell Sam. Uh, we don't want like a, a highlight reel of these shows. We no. want one show that one we can, show that we can look at. So this was yesterday's show or the day before. Yeah, I mean, you guys remember yesterday? You guys were talking about the president on Mythbusters. Yes, we were. And you're not the only radio show in the world that's oh. talking about that. Okay, oh, well, let's hear what the moms the president have to doing say. Mythbusters. And guess what, Aunt? The pool man makes a good joke here. <laughs> the pool man. The pool man. You get to hear the pool man. It's uh, Moms in the Morning. You guys um, ever watch Mythbusters? Uh, I love Mythbusters. No. You, ne- you ever uh, seen it? Never seen it. Oh, Pool Man, you would love it. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I have. I've seen the trailers for it on TV. It's really cool. They take all those things, you know, that people have talked about. or Oh, you know, I did see it. Things from history, and they try to test them out. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh my God! No! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I think I did see it. They of busted that mi- that myth that women suck on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I meant to, I said I said I saw a trailer of it, but I meant to see I uh, see it in my trailer. That's <laughs> what I meant to see. Why does he sound like Elvis? He's from South Kakalaki. Is Elvis alive? Elvis is not alive. He's he passed Kakalaki. away. He talked like about Travis or oh, you know, I did see <laughs> things from history, and they that's try it. to test them out. And then if they can't make it work, they usually like kick it up a notch and make it crazy, just so they can blow something up. The president has taped a cameo appearance for Discovery Channel's Mythbusters. Strange. Very oh, strange. What is he going to do? Why, this doesn't make any sense to me. It's going to be airing um, December 8th. The president is going to appear in an episode... In which they tried to debunk the legend of how the Greek scientist Archimedes set fire to the Roman ships by reflecting the sun's rays using giant mirrors. You could call them rays. Huh. That could work, couldn't it? I think so. I wonder why um, President Obama decided to be in on that particular <laughs> experiment. Do you think it's something about smoke and mirrors? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a good one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah. The smoke and mirrors joke was relatively terrible mm-hmm. but the rest of the banter was all right it wasn't Ooh. it wasn't great or awful it was just nondescript it was the, just the kind of women there. yapping though it was just there yeah, the, it was with just... those voices if you're a chick you'd like that though oh uh, would you i mean you know uh, i would probably finger my pussy to their female voices <laughs> oh, squeeze my clit we'll <laughs> to pump it up a little bit just that oh god look at the mess that's why they have the pool man to break it up 
Hey, uh, the pool man. Yeah, the, notice, what is that, a Krispy Kreme donut? It yeah, looks like uh, from the cancer show, uh, Laura Ling Linney, or uh, what's the name of that show? Oh, yeah, Laura uh, Linney. Uh, the Big C or whatever. Yeah, yeah she looks oh, like yeah. that. She's not that bad looking. The other ones are The pink. other ones are real. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She shouldn't wear, you shouldn't wear pink if you look, look like a pig. Right. No. She's God, like right. an arena. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, they talk about mirrors burning. Lauren doesn't like what Pool Man did. Oh, Pool yeah, Man. You got a little like, no, mirror, yeah. you know. Whatever. Concentrated and, you know, just like you start a fire only. Like Didn't you, you start a little fire a with a mirror? You ever mm -hmm. do that? Yes, I did. Certainly they had those when you were a child. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, I I used to torture ants with it. Everybody oh, did, no. Aunt Ben. That's sad. Except, was this before? Everybody except Lauren did. I didn't. I set pine straw on fire. Was this before or after the invention of movable type? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tease Pool Man about his age. He's only a little bit older than us. But That's true. It's, just, it's sad. <laughs> this is just... It, it's just... What? Yeah. This is, Wait, it's but why just... Is it, why is it sad to burn ants? Yeah, poor ants. You ever have a Cares. fucking, you ever have a fucking ant on you? It's enraging. <laughs> it is. And you know she probably pulls the raid out at home, and our little kids are running around and see ants. Yeah. Psst, just kill them with poison. Yeah, that's better. Her kids. She <laughs> sprays her kids with raid. <laughs> no, they get a math problem wrong. She's a tough cookie. <laughs> she certainly is. You don't want to torture the ants, though. No, no, You're that's living sad. creatures. That's sad. Sam, does this get better, or we can can we move on, or? I mean, I think we should still. I mean, yeah. we should give him a chance. Like, I feel like you guys are judging him a little quickly. I guess there's a dam siren. Language siren. Yeah, like there's a siren that goes Is off. Is it Hoover? Yeah, like a dam. What like is it like a fucking emergency? So one of the periods test. happens when they're not expecting it. Heavy <laughs> flow. Their underpants are alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't ruin the station seats. <laughs> <laughs> they live in a community where it could be wiped out by a dam or something? Yeah, if the dam malfunctions or whatever, sure. All right. Great. Hey, That's we why warned they have all you earlier, we're going to warn you again. <laughs> if you Pushes. live in an area where there is any dam nearby, they're going to be testing the dam sirens this morning. The dam <laughs> sirens are being tested oh, today around Wait, 10 a.m. So if you hear yeah. a loud uh -oh. noise, if you're in Williamsburg, Clarendon, or Berkeley County, these 15 sirens are being tested that are to alert you if there is a dam burst. So when you hear all that dam noise, there is technically no dam emergency, just a dam test. Oh. I hate those dam things. <laughs> no, I'm saying this over and over and over. Well, you might like saying it. We don't like hearing it. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Was that their big bit? Yeah. Didn't you Was notice? that the bit? Do it's, they do bits or? It's a play on the word dam. Berg, do they oh, do prep burger shit. or song parodies? No, or they, they rely on their own comedic Just expertise. banter. Well, God yeah. bless them for oh, that. Yeah. And writing. I mean, that's, that's good stuff. Damn. How, how good would it be to roll a bowling ball into her crotch <laughs> in the middle of that bit? <laughs> Just listen to it splat. Oh, damn bowling ball. Yeah, right against oh. my damn lips. <laughs> well, well, good news. Why stop the damn jokes now? Oh. Do you think there are damn hunters out there? I don't know. I hear it. The warning is for dam hunters, dam boaters, and dam neighbors. So <laughs> hey, we don't live near a dam, and I've got some <laughs> you hear sirens. Oh, no, but I've got some dam neighbors. <laughs> I live in Hollywood. Oh, we hear sirens easy. all the time. <laughs> anyway, no, there's no damn dam neighbors. anywhere near us. I have great neighbors. I just love saying dam when I'm allowed to. It's the dam kind. Oh, allowed to. You know, to. the kids aren't in the car now going to school. No, it's the dam. We're talking about the dam. It's the, like a beaver makes one. Right. This is a big human made it one. It holds back the water, and they have to do these damn tests. Exactly. Because people have Holy to know if there's any kind of problem with the dam. <laughs> All and it right. Could, you know, flood. We've got to be careful. We hey, don't want point, a dam flood. My point is, by the time you hear the damn cunt, siren, you better kiss your damn butt goodbye, because uh, it's pretty uh, much oh, over. Are they Easy. Doing, are they doing like a Dickens coffee bit right Dickens, there? Dickens cider. Uh, no, Dickens uh, coffee. Dickens coffee. Furious. Well, we changed it to Dickens coffee. Dickens Everyone coffee. knows that, Sam. What's Dickens wrong with you? Coffee. Literally, a minute ago, I said it wasn't that bad. It went from that to the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, did you hear when she said, I don't live near Dan, but I have damn neighbors. Damn neighbors. And then they kept going, and then under the talking, you could hear her go, oh, I'm just kidding. My neighbors are great. Right, right. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> she has to. Everything's got to be good. And, and she loves saying it when she's allowed to, because damn is such a, a bad word. Well, I hope when, that girl's young neighbors that are all sex offenders, and she said they're great. <laughs> and while she's saying that, someone's being murdered <laughs> two houses down. <laughs> See, because uh, there, there's no N at the end of the dam that they were yeah, saying. Yeah, no. But it did sound like that. No. That's yeah. why they had to clear it up for the kids. That's wonderful. No. They want to oh, make sure that... just terrible. No one got pissed off by their damn jokes. Well, what if they thought they were using the D word? 
Oh, what's that? Douche. Douches, yeah. Damn. Oh, 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 that's the one with the N. Thank oh, this is an XL N. channel, but... Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Well, they talk about Barbara... Thank God we're on XL. Thank Barbara God. Billingsley seen an airplane. Oh, yeah. They you go remember? out of their way to not mention that the men are black. Why? Remember wow. the uh, You Speak Jive scene? Yeah, that's black black guys. No, no, no. It's it's uh, gentlemen. It's fellas. It's people. Oh, uh, yeah. wouldn't it's say two black guys. Boy, this in is person. so safe. In person. This Larry. is the safest radio It has to be. They're ever. called Moms in the Morning. I know. Yeah, but you could say black. I bet you could say, when they say that all their pussies get wet, <laughs> they don't say black just because it soaks them all up. <laughs> when they think of the Jimmy McMillans of the world yes. stopping over while their cuckold husbands watch. He has to have his cock drained medically. <laughs> so big and strong. Fucking McMillan Jimmy rules. McMillan's uh, big cock. I want to put a flag on his, it. His cock has to be drained. His cock's got to be drained. Take that, fucking Andrew Cuomo. That's right. What do you <laughs> got going fucking on? fucking trust fund douchebag Cuomo. Exactly. Oh, he stinks. I hate them all, except for Jimmy uh, McMillan. Jimmy's great. I like Chris. I have uh, faith in politicians now. Hey, uh, they talk about Barbara. Bit. All right, let's just play it. Um, at 806, we were talking about this in the studio, and I said, you know what? We should do that on the air again, because we talked about it early yesterday, and it bears repeating. Mark Barbara Billingsley passed away over the weekend, the oh. uber mom for all ages, Beaver Cleaver's mom off Leave It to Beaver. If you haven't seen Leave It to Beaver, you haven't seen classic television from the 50s and 60s. Barbara Billingsley <laughs> played Beaver's mom, and oh, you saw the movie the Airplane. High. She was the lady who was seated when the gentlemen were trying to talk to the stewardess, and she couldn't understand them. Black and she says, excuse me, stewardess, I speak jive. There's an interview with her. We put it up on our Moms in the Morning Facebook page. You can get there through our website, 989chickfm.com. She's talking about being picked for this role and how it came about. And the director, the first time she did it, because you know, she had to speak in that, that unusual cadence and use words that she ordinarily wouldn't use. Oh, my God. And the director said, that was good, but I need you to do it again because I could understand what you were saying. <laughs> so she, she had to. Was too, she was enunciating too carefully to jive talk. Right. She had to go to lunch with the two dudes who were the drive dudes. I thought one of them was Sam Jackson, but it wasn't. He looked That's just like it. Well, because they all oh, look because they all look alike. We see the racism at the end of the. Clip. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, that. it's funny. They won't say the word black until the very end. And I thought one of them was Sam Jackson, but then again, they all are uh, subhuman criminals. All right, back after this. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep it for that last second. Uh -huh. They're in racial right. hatred. And now, commercial for tampons. Yeah. It's just um, yes. Uh, they were speaking a certain um, way, a certain type of dialect. Uh, they uh, talking like. <laughs> Imagine if the moms in the morning just completely moms lose, morning it. lose it, and they're just hardcore racist. They've been, yeah, they've been fined for racism right. many times. <laughs> they've been cited race riots. We just don't know uh, it. These gentlemen. She looks like a beat up Laura Linney. I think that's her name. Oh, yeah. A, a minute bit. ago, you said she was all right. Now she's a little more well, beat, up. beat up. Yeah. Look at the plate of food in front oh of her. Oh my Sam. God! Her yeah. tits on a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fat bunt. Let's, let's slow down with the carbs there. Where's the uh, where's the pool guy? Uh, I don't know. They, I haven't seen any pictures of the, the pool moms, guy. The pool man. I bet he scoops his cum up with a skimmer. That's why they call him that. Because <laughs> he comes in all their coffee when they're not looking. <laughs> the moms talk about some hilarious tricks they've played. Oh, it's no. amazing. It's bad when other people spill the beans on your Facebook page, too. A friend of mine is newly pregnant. And they weren't. So, she wasn't she telling was. people yet because it was very early. She hadn't even seen the doctor yet. Well, she told somebody. Well, yeah, told it's, you. Know. If it made it to Facebook. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And um, somebody congratulated her on her Facebook page, and she had to quick, I called her and quick get that out because, you know. Well, what I used some to Some things you want to wait a little while to tell people, and you want to tell them face to face yourself. So it's one thing to spill your own secrets, but it's another thing to, you know, spill someone else's. So I just spill that blood. Price. I was four days overdue with friends. People were saying, when is that baby coming? And I would say, what baby? It was awfully fun. Uh, so that works at all stages of pregnancy. We used to do that when people ask us when we were going to get married. My husband and I, when we were dating, because we dated for five years before we got married. Did you? And I would just look at him and like, well, he hasn't asked me yet. You know, and kind of like, <laughs> come on, come on, it's oh. awfully fun. <laughs> come on, holy jibble! Yeah. It's, it's light and fun again. I'm mad. Why? Well, we got married. Because this is and on. I would just look at him and like, well, he hasn't asked me yet. 
<laughs> you know, and that was dead silence. You're like, oh, wow. that's uncomfortable. <laughs> was it true? It was true. I mean, you know, we dated three or four years, and he had not asked me yet. We planned on it. Did you But, fuck? I mean, if it, it was just not a Did very you suck his cock? question. Did you suck his cock? Or when are you going to have a baby? That I You've been understand. married how long, and you ain't had a baby? Oh, that's very hurtful. That it can is. Be it can be hurtful. Extraordinarily yes. hurtful for someone saying, I'm barren. Well, I've been trying for five years, or I can't <laughs> have any. Whoa. I store right. marbles in my womb. Yes. <laughs> my ovaries shot out one night when I sneezed. <laughs> Thank you very much. They look like old daisies. <laughs> my ovaries are worthless, <laughs> like raisinets. I, I threw them in my cereal and ate them. <laughs> fucking worthless oves. <laughs> uh, the mom's in the morning. They preview tomorrow's show. Oh, that means this is the last clip. Thank God. Uh, I mean, unless you want to hear today's show, I'll grab a couple clips. Uh, we don't need to do a it's long okay, uh, I... Jocktober today. No, no. no we really today. don't need to. Thank you. Uh, they pr preview tomorrow's show. They're going to talk about... Well, I'll just... Uh... Mm -hmm. Let it sit there for a second. And we're going to talk about the Octo Doc. The Octo Doc, who um, helped the Octo Mom get pregnant oh. when she already had six kids, and he helped her get pregnant with eight more. He may lose his medical license. Is it any of his business? How many kids she has at home, or did he do wrong? He's in the Octo Doghouse. Yeah, he could be. Um, he could be. You know, in Octo Jail, Octo Welfare. Before this is all. Are these more damn jokes? No, Octo jokes. But it's sort of like the damn jokes. It. Well, the damn jokes at least somewhat made sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That does not make any sense. Wow. She's just putting the word octo in front of things. She should open her legs and, and put her fingers in her octo dumpster. <laughs> Eight fingers so welfare, at a time. Before this is all said and done, because he might, he might lose his, um, his livelihood. Yeah. We'll talk about that tomorrow morning, because some folks yeah. think, hey... She that asked was, for it. She paid for it. No problem. Yeah, but, but that was irresponsible. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. We had a, gotta be <laughs> a fertility doctor in here on Friday who had a couple of things to say about it. So, anyway, we just thought we'd throw that one out Must there. It's been a fun show. Give us a call. How about you throw your show out? Yeah. You can always find us on Facebook. You can link to that through our website, 989chickfm.com. Have a lovely, lovely Tuesday. It's a beautiful day outside. Enjoy it, everybody. 8.57. Uh, look at that. This wraps up another Moms in the Morning. I'd say that was a pretty successful broadcast. Join Join us next time for more Janet and Lauren. Well, you don't seem very excited about it. I am excited. Well, you know what? I'm very excited about it. What do you want me to do? Take out an ad or something? I'm very excited. And stay tuned for more of your, your music. music next on 98.9 Chick FM and 989chickfm.com. Radio just sucks. You don't like it anymore? Oh, God. Well, that one's that one wasn't that bad. It's, it's just, very good that day. Was it's terrible. a beautiful know, day how, out. And I guess uh, that's how women talk. I guess yeah, I awfully. Yeah. That's why no one listens to them. Yeah, yeah. That's why we jam our dicks in there. That's how <laughs> blowjobs were invented. <laughs> Fucking caveman heard the first chick radio show. It's like how do we stop that noise from coming out of the thing that isn't a vagina? <laughs> Put your dick in it. <laughs> yeah, caveman radio. <laughs> yes, they did. They were talking to coconuts and rocks. <laughs> To get traffic and rape updates. <laughs> <laughs> Those cavemen love the rape. Oh, they lived oh, for it. Love it. They love Just tear your. You know how bad it. pussy smell when it was covered with animal carcass. Ugh. <laughs> Horrid. When they sit down and just dirt and rocks and shit would get in there, you have to wipe it off. Usually, you get spitting pubes out in the old days, and then it was like a pebble, it. rocks. You don't think they went down on? The <laughs> no.